Thank you for joining me. This is Suzanne Wagner, and I am doing my personal quote and blog for the 13th of June, 2022. Okay, my quote for today. Criticizing others is about jealousy and resentment. The game in life is to embrace all that we are. Those that find fault and undermine those trying to do good and kind things are choking on their own unresolved dreams and potential. And my blog for today. I don't know if you can see it in the darker energy, but it's raining again. Wow, shocking. It never rains in June. I am grateful, but concerned. We need the rain, but now the grass is going to grow out of control, giving a lot of fuel that will be on the ground during the fire season. Yesterday, my husband mowed the lower meadow with a lawn tractor, and it was chest high in some places. He went through it twice, cutting it higher and then cutting it closer to the ground. The lower meadow has a seep down there. It makes sort of a marshy place, and the grass loves to grow there. We have a very old, like 100-year-old apple tree down there that was probably planted by the loggers or homesteaders that came through. And that meadow is perfect for an orchard because it does have great sun and constant flow of groundwater. The tree blossoms, but rarely has apples because the bears and the critters that can't restrain themselves from the yumminess of even unripened apples. And now it's raining. And the mowing is going to be something that has to be done multiple times to keep the grass in check. The deck finally seems dry as of last night, and so we began fixing the hot tub edging so that we can fill it in today and actually have a fabulous hot tub in the rain. Nothing better than to sit in the hot water while it is raining and watch the drops hit the hot water and bounce back up into the air. It looks like reverse rain. My garden is going to be happy with the deep soak. I am harvesting bok choy, kale, sugar snap peas, and broccoli. The asparagus is popping up. The rhubarb is branching its leaves out. The artichokes are super happy in their very rich soil. And while I know I won't get chokes this year, I look forward to next year. I still, I still need to put a few flowers in, but I got sidetracked yesterday with getting grass out of the cracks of my walkway. Always a big chore. Grass loves to send out shoots in every direction, roots everywhere. I had to lift the pavers up in places to get it all out. As I was doing that, I thought of my dear friend, Helen Schumann, who died many years ago from the complications with her bone cancer. She was an avid gardener, and I think of her often as I am out pulling weeds and making things beautiful. She showed me the value of getting your hands dirty and your bare feet on the ground. She was ridiculously strong, and it was her garden that kept her alive and thriving. I feel her around me pointing things out and showing me how to do things. It is a reminder that those we love are never far away, and we carry so much that they taught us deep in our hearts. Here's to the gardeners and those older folks that showed me the way. Here's to their wisdom that I still carry today. Here's to the beauty that they chose to create. Here's to making something wonderful and great. Here's to the joy that a garden brings. Here's to the untapped potential that is in many things. May we each find as we age, as may we each as we age find the grace that is within. May we each discover how to begin again and again. May we each have skills to share till the very end. May we each learn to give those gifts to all our friends. Thanks, everyone.